welcome back. As you can tell by this title, we are going to be talking about my April TBR and the fact that it's April, you know, mind blowing. <laughs> uh, don't mind me, it's been a long day and we're going into it. All right. So without further ado, like I said, let's just go ahead and get on into it, shall we? Alright, the first book I am going to be picking up, well I don't know if it will be the first one, but I want it to be my first one, is A Red Sister by Mark Lawrence. Now I have heard some really good things about this, and Holy Sister comes out this year. I need to read this one, and then Grey Sister, to get to Holy Sister, so... Fingers crossed that that happens. All I know is that we're following a girl named Nona Gray. And basically they're like nuns like in a church who are raised to be killers. That's pretty much what I know about this. But... It is really good, and it's been floating around a little bit on YouTube, but not a whole lot of people talk about Red Sister, but you need to. I've heard good things. We're getting into it. I'm excited. Moving on. Goodbye, Red Sister. Until April. <laughs> Alright, so the next book I have is Ash Princess by Laura Sebastian. If I pronounce that last name wrong, I I apologize. Alright. In a land without a queen, the princess must rise. So what? Princess, prisoner, orphan, rebel. Does that not sound like Mia? Sounds like Mia. I like it already. <laughs> Alright. Thea Dorsa was six when her country was invaded and her mother, the Fire Queen, oh, hello, Aelin, <laughs> was murdered before her eyes. On that day, the Crazier took Theodora's family, her land, and her name. Theo was crowned Ash Princess. A title of shame to wear in her new life as a prisoner. For ten years, Theo has been a captive in her own palace. She endured the relentless abuse and ridicule of the creature and his court. She is powerless, surviving in her new world only by burying the girl she was deep inside. Then, one night, the creature forces her to do the unthinkable. With the blood on her hands and all hope for reclaiming her throne lost, she realizes that surviving is no longer enough. But she does have a weapon. Her mind is sharper than any sword, and power isn't always won on the battlefield. For ten years, the Ash Princess has seen her land, pilage, and her people enslaved. That all ends here. That sounds really good, and the cover is what had me going. Oh, it feels different. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Moving on. The next book I'm, like, in the middle of, I just haven't picked it back up to finish it, but I am right there, and if you haven't guessed it, it's Kingdom of Ash, and it's the last book, and it's bittersweet, so I've been so much taking my time with it, but I just really need to push myself and finish it, because I need to know answers, I need the reunion of these people, of Aelin, and Kale, and Dorian, and Manon, and Rohan, and Adion, and Lathendra, all of them, and I need Maeve down, exactly how I said it, Maeve, you're going down, 
or at least she better be going down or I'm going to have some questions. <laughs> uh, that got real serious real fast. Uh, who am I? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Book. Okay, you can kind of see that I'm sorry for this one. Mwah! As you can guess it, the next book I want to pick up is Furyborn, the Imperium Trilogy by Claire Legrand. And the second book, Kingsbane, is also coming out this year. So, again, I want to read this before I get that. If I get that one. Let me finish this one and be started. Okay. Anyway. The gate will fall. You will know this this time by the rise of the two human queens. One blood and one will and one of the light. Sorry. Ah, two queens will rise. They will carry the power of the seven. They will carry your fate in their hands. Do -do 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 -do. And it also has a folder of pages. Like, oh, we like that over here. Alright. Two young women, centuries apart, hold their power to either to save their world or doom it. Or to save it. Or doom it. Dun dun dun. Again, why am I like this? When assassins ambush her best friend, the crown prince, Rail D, Rail D risks everything to save him, exposing her ability to perform all seven kinds of mental magic. The only people who should possess this power, a pair of prophecy queens, a queen of the light, and a queen of blood. To prove she is the sun queen, Rill must injure seven trials to test her magic. If she fails, she will be executed. Oh, unless the trials destroy her first. A thousand years later, the legend of Queen Rill is a mere fairy tale to bounty hunter Elena Ferracora, when the Undying Empire conquered her her kingdom, she embraced the violence to keep her family safe. Now she, now she believes untouch herself untouchable until her mother vanishes. To find her, Elena, Elena oh my God, why can I say this name? Oh. Elena joins a rebel captain on a dangerous mission and discovers that evil at the heart of the Empire is more terrible than she's ever imagined. As Real and Elena fight in a cosmic war that spans millennia, their stories instruct and the shocking connections between them will unlimitedly determine the fate of their world and of each other and i'm done explaining this book but overall it sounds really really good and that is a fairy born and it naked just looks whoa red but they're gold on the spine though they're gold on the spine okay we are all over the place <clears throat> Not apologizing for that. Whatsoever. Alright. The next two books. This other one I want to read because, of course, the sequel comes out again this year. Can't remember the name of it for the life of me. But I do want to read. Ace of Shades by Amanda Foodie. I do. <laughs> Foodie, sorry. It's been a long day. Anyway, 
I do have a couple other of her books, but I'm gonna read this one first. Because, yeah. Take a card and take, ooh, take a card and state your soul. Take a card and stake your soul. Survival is your only goal. Super surrender to the fo to the vice within. I bet your life hope you win. And that's all I'm going to use with this one. This one doesn't have the Apple pages. What? Again, another red one, but silver on the spine. It's silver on the spine. Oh, why am I like this? We shall never know. I was being teased. <laughs> Alright, the other one. I might read this one first before I read Red Sister, but either way, we're reading it. And y'all might love or hate this one, but you know what? I'm reading it. And that is the sun is also a star. And I did love everything, everything. And I'm hoping to like this one maybe not as much, but like it because I want to go see the movie. But I have to read the book before I see it. And it has been around just a little bit. It's basically a. The story of a girl and a boy and the universe. Natasha, I'm a girl who believes in science and facts, not fate. Not destiny or dreams that will never come true. I'm definitely not the kind of girl who meets a cute boy on a crowded New York City street and falls in love with him. Not when my family is 12 hours away from deporting to Jamaica. Falling in love with him won't be my story. Daniel. I've always been the good son, the good student, living up to my parents' high expectations. Never the poet or the dreamer, but when I see her, I forget about all that. Something about Natasha makes me think that fate has something much more extraordinary in store for the both of us. The universe. Every moment in our lives has brought us to this single moment. A million future lie before us. Which one will come true? And that is the sun is also a star. Alright, that is all the books. I'm hoping to at least try to read in April. And if you have read any of them... Let me know down below, and again, if you are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, you know, right down there in the notification bell, because you don't want to miss further videos from me, and I've been making weekly reading vlogs, so those are definitely fun to check out too, and I guess that's pretty much what all I got for this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.